Last week when I uploaded my In Defense of Teal Deer video, Ranting Monkey left some pretty scathing comments directed at Teal Deer for what he said in his original video. His problem with this is that Teal Deer was being an asshole because he gave general criticism of the YouTubers he showed and is acting like he was criticizing specific arguments of theirs. Ranting Monkey says that he could have just left his avatar up and made the same criticism, but he didn't do that because he wanted to be an ass. Now, just in case anyone forgot what Teal Deer said, I'll play it for you now. I suppose this leads me quite nicely to a little prediction I made a few months ago in a comment section of a video somewhere, just about the general direction the online community seemed to go, and a general pattern I've noticed. It happened with things like the Occupy movement, it happened with YouTube atheism, and I can quite easily see it happening with YouTube skepticism. The general grouping starts out pretty good, and we see the rise of new ideas and decent arguments, over time, the movement picks up speed and public attention and more and more content creators. As this happens, the quality somewhat stagnates, and we begin to see an influx of people white knighting, the women, and the rise of pretty girls telling you everything you've already heard before, except often with less depth or explanation than the channels that started doing this sort of stuff when it was less popular. And these cute girls will tell you everything you want to hear and get hailed as geniuses, and anyone who dares disagree gets hit with the Why do you hate women? or You're just mad or jelly because this girl is smarter and more popular than you, and other such white knightery. And then it fractures into basically a social justice side and a non-social justice side. I can quite easily see this happening if this reaction to Lacey and her showing any interest in coming over to the anti-fem side might have any sort of credence. Ranting Monkey also left his own top-level comment on the video that I myself responded to. In it, he expressed the same idea to me, except that one part of it was different. He singled out Roaming Millennial for some reason this time. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyways, I tried to explain to him that Teal Deer didn't need to make any specific criticisms of their arguments because he, on the whole, was saying that they made weak arguments in general, just as I explained in my video. So, you might be wondering, why am I making this video today? Well, I just happened to be looking at some of Ranting Monkey's old videos where he also criticized Roaming Millennial like I did in my last video. You see, Ranting Monkey has some pretty choice words for Roaming that I think we should all have a listen to. Once again, I don't want to just leave this at criticism. I want to add something constructive to the discussion. There are some tips you can pick up from Roaming's video on how to effectively communicate to your audience. For instance, be as attractive as possible. If she weighed 500 pounds, was wearing dirty old sweats, and was laying on a bed with a bag of half-eaten Doritos next to her head, no one would have been okay with her saying you should just listen and not challenge Milo. No one would have said, well what she meant was, she'd be called a low cow. She did her hair and makeup, she put on a nice shirt, and she set herself up in front of a bookshelf with a plant in a room with a very neutral shade of blue covering the walls. Now, maybe you're a man, or genetics weren't kind to you, or your book collection consists entirely of pornographic materials that you've, uh, read so much they can no longer be opened. Don't despair. A little makeup, a nice shirt, some good lighting, and a clean background are usually enough. If all else fails, you can always use a cartoon avatar. Now, is it just me, or does that sound oddly familiar? You know, normally when you spend all of that time writing out what issues you have with someone said, you tend to disagree with them. But clearly Ranting Monkey doesn't actually disagree with what Tildeer said at all. Is he really that riled up because Tildeer didn't give examples in his video? That seems a bit pedantic, doesn't it? If you ask me, it seems like Ranting Monkey was doing some of that good old-fashioned white knightery, and was being a bit of a hypocrite at the same time. 